Hello. Alrighty. Let's get started. I think we have just this last mission. Um, going back to the Harfeld Manor and confronting Audrin and or Firewing. <clears throat> I don't think we'll take the dog with us this time. He didn't actually seem all that useful. <clears throat> How are we doing for equipment? Okay, that's pretty good. How about karma? Can we level up? Uh, I'm not going to be able to max up my drunk combat. Which will mean I'll have to keep wearing my current armor. You enter the room to find your team preparing in relative silence. Their expressions are grim. In the back of the room, an ominous presence hovers silently at chest height. Light glints off the machine's pitted metal carapace. Iger sees the look on your face and her voice cuts through the quiet in the room. Apex is present to us. Calls itself a panzer drone. That's about all I could get out of it. I don't like having that thing in here, boss. Well, it's here now, like it or not. But enough of that, we have business to discuss. If Apex did what it said it would, then the estate's automated defenses have already targeted Vauclair's security forces. That'll give us a serious tactical advantage. Attacking the hold fast should be doable now. Still risky, but doable. Yeah, we'll rule of an opening, sure. But to do what? I mean, with everything we just learned, what's our new plan? We enter the estate, locate Vauclair, and shut him down. Same plan, different target. It's possible that Aprex fabricated that comm feed. Vauclair might still be innocent. Hmm, I doubt it. My gut tells me that what we saw was real, and second-guessing ourselves isn't going to get us anywhere. Fair point. Okay, so let's assume that Vauclair is the one who's behind all this. What's he doing in that lab? How does the dragon tie into this? I mean, the whole thing was always about rescuing the old man from Firewing. Is she still in the picture at all? Has she ever been? After what Apex showed us, I don't even know what we're trying to stop anymore. All I see is a lot of dead bodies with no explanation why. I have a piece of... Oh, there it is. There's a piece of hair on my glasses. It's tickling my nose. Doesn't matter why Vauclair killed Monica and Paul and all those other people in the KB. All that matters is that he did. And I'm gonna bury him for that. You're welcome to help. Well, I for one want answers. Amsel said that there was a lot of money flowing into Harfeld Estate. And he found evidence that a bioweapon was being stockpiled there. Whatever Vauclair's doing, he had Apex kill his own brother to hide it. I intend to find out what that is. Yeah, I want answers. Let's go get them. Well, Alright, fearless leader. You go looking for your answers. I won't get in your way. And when the time comes to put a bullet in Vauclair's brain, I'll be there to make it happen. This is your, your show, Chief. Whatever you choose to do, I'll come along for the ride. Well, no, we're not taking you, Blitz. 
We're going to find out what's happening at that holdfast, and then we're going to stop it. You lead, I'll follow, boss. Looks like the team's ready to go. What's our next move? Yeah, let's do it. Um... Sounds straightforward enough. Word of caution, Jack. Our objective may be simple, but taking the same approach we took last time would be a mistake. Yeah, what do you suggest, Ag? I've been reviewing the intel that Alice sent us and compare it to what I gathered on our original run. There's been a substantial increase in the number of heat signatures on the ground. That means new security troops. Lots of them. They know we're coming. Of course they do. That just means we'll be fighting a target-rich environment. Oh, I can't crack my knuckles. Works for me. We'll want to get in the lab as quickly as possible. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it's it's uh, based on, I guess, the D&D type tabletop game. Um, the actual combat is more like XCOM than anything else, I guess. You know, it's tactical. You move people around uh, the grid, essentially. And we're hopefully going to be doing the last uh, mission of the game. Yeah, fighting, um, hopefully dragons? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see, how do we find them? So I have to go into their basement. Deep in the basement. What is it though? Does it take up a party slot? That's all I want to know, guys. Sure. I want to bring it. It seems cool. I think we're leaving the dog in Blitz behind. We have to bring Glory, bring Hager. What is this? Drone auto repair. I kind of want to bring the drone instead of uh, Dietrich. Then we don't have a healer. Oh, I guess we have Glory. Glory is a healer. The van lurches forward. The smell of anxious sweat hangs close and thick inside, making the cramped vehicle feel even smaller. The streets of Berlin are strangely quiet as you make your way past the city limits. It's as if the whole of the flux state is waiting for something, a calm before the storm. An hour later, the van rounds a corner. In the distance, you can see the silhouette of Harfeld Manor, backed by the light of the full moon. You switch the van's headlights off and shift to electric. A short while later, you kill the ignition and roll quietly down the last hill, pulling to a stop on the side of the road. A bird of prey takes wing from a tree above you, beginning its nocturnal pursuit. You know how it feels. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep our stupid mechanic jumpsuit on. Just because it makes our drones so much better. 
It makes me very sad. I would love to take this combat suit. Oh well. Once again, the grounds of the Harfeld Manor are silent, save for the faint whistling of the wind. But unlike last time, there is rank with foreboding. The night is swollen with homicidal intent. They're waiting for you. Okay, we, we don't need a review plan. We know the plan. Make our way across the grounds to so servant's entrance. Once we there, we'll take the freight elevator down to the lab. Let's do it. Do we know the general area? Do we have an objective marker? I guess not yet. Okay. Do I need a code? The screen on the door's access panel flickers off and on and displays a flashing error code. Uh, let's leave it on. Let's walk around and see uh, see what's up around this band. Oh, pff, nothing. It's a dead end. So I guess we just hit the open button and hope that whatever Apex did makes it work. Well, I don't see security. Oh, never mind. A hellhound. Surely there's more than that hiding out in the darkness. Let's use our guardian. Um, yeah, I can go here. It is just that one dog that I see. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's get behind cover. Oh, uh, I don't have enough action points to get under any good cover. Let's just hang out here and turn on the wolfhound. action points to get there. Um, crap. Okay, Glory, use your adrenal pump. The next turn, we shall have plenty of action points. I'm gonna get Iger in, like, sniping position. Oh, actually I actually can snipe from here. 82% isn't a bad percentage. Oh, pff, okay. Doggo is down. Uh, so we can try and open the front door. Get to the panel. Okay, I'm guessing that means we have to stop them from getting to that panel. Yeah, sure. Run all the way out here. Whoa, okay. Is that going to open all those doors? Um, I don't want to waste a grenade. Glory. 
do we have line of sight to this guy from here? Yes. Go for it. Have it come out of here. I don't want to stack up too close because we'll get taken out by grenades. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I can't throw that. Oh, okay. I guess I need to use a concussion grenade. And we'll just move up. He's going to use the panel. Oh, glory, what can you do? Eviscerate him. Okay, he won't be a problem now. Um, can you get this guy? No. I'll just finish him off then. What did he drop? Oh, uh, it looked like he dropped something. I guess not. It's point blank range with our shotgun. Dragon's breath. <laughs> what the heck is that one? Shoot grenade. How did it miss from such a short range? Okay, so what did this guy drop? The state courtyard key. Let's not open the kennels. That sounds like a bad idea. Toss it away. So I guess that we'll need that key to actually open this. Error, error, defense subroutine. Apex 057B not found. Primary automated security systems offline. Security protocols engaged. Uh, use key card. And of course. Whew. Yeah, I feel like this mission is just gonna be like one room full of combat after another. Oh. Where'd they run off to? A little bit confused. panel over here that opens up a kennel. <laughs> oh, we could try disarming one of them. Um, no, that's really bad odds.
Glory. Pump. I don't think we actually used her pump last time. I think I just clicked on it and didn't actually apply it. Uh, so we want to keep Iger kind of far away because she's a sniper. Yeah, okay. Big damage. A far big two from so far away. Oops. Well, might as well hail Mary it. Oh, all right then. I noticed that we're still in combat mode though, we're still in initiative. I guess that means there are more enemies over there. Okay, let's send the drones out scouting. Whoa! Um, okay, fair enough. That's not what I expected. Target head? Sure. Glory, can you do anything to these guys? Yeah, this one. Okay, we... Oh, we didn't... Oh, we did strip its armor, just they have a ton of armor. Sure. Let's go for a headshot on this one. Oh, they explode in fart clouds. It says minigun. Okay, let's move up. <laughs> These statues aren't gonna come to life, are they? <laughs> what is this one? Harp Woman on Lion. Okay. More gargoyles over here. Sure. Something I always forget to. I need to move first and then activate my drones. That way they're just a little bit closer. So if I enter these squares, that's probably when the gargoyle will wake up, so I won't. Really? Wow. I don't want Glory to go in. Is there a way to get Iger even further from me? Shot. 
Where might they'll take them out? I don't know if we have to fight the gargoyles or not. I'd rather not. Send one of the drones to go investigate. Oh, there's like a whole little path. Okay, maybe we should all be going this way then. It's back there. them come to us. I feel like that's the wisest course of Ashkin. We're gonna take big damage. Oh. Unless they miss everything. Wow. Okay, they hit us a little bit. Lightly peppered. Go hang out here. Yeah, I can hang out right there. Go overwatch. That away. You go overwatch. That away. You can overwatch that away. Lori will hang out back there. You know what? She can go overwatch. Anything comes around that uh, corner, into our little death hallway, we're doomed. <laughs> well then. Okay. What is this guy doing hiding right next to us? That big guy over there. Edgar, what do you have to say? Unfortunately, she's not at a good range to really engage with anything. Not leave enough room for our, oh, okay, a robo buddy. Oh. Okay, 
It's up to our drones. Can we disarm this dude? Yes! He dropped his gun. That's great. I haven't actually successfully done that before. Now that guy I am super scared of. Let's take him out. Nice. So I still have a mage and a rigger? Uh, and I'm just a regular dude. Reload. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do either. That guy's still asleep. We can ignore him. Where's the drone? This rigger had a drone. Where is it? I don't know. I do not know. We will eviscerate him regardless. Oh, crap. I'm an idiot. I totally forgot about the, the gargoyles. Oh, the drone's right there. Okay, sorry everyone. Making everyone's lives harder. Really? I just have... I didn't even go into the square. Maybe we should fall back and have them come to us. I don't know. Well, it's too late for that. I don't want to waste my grenades yet. Okay, big guy is tanking it, so that's fine. Twin slash. Okay, we broke some of his armor. What are you doing? Kill this guy. Oh yeah, they yeah, we don't want to be near them when they explode. Whew. Yeah, there's 
was our last attack. I forgot about this guy up here. Switch drone. This drone needs to move up. Transform and roll out. Oh, come on, I just want to disarm him. Let's shoot him. And now I don't have enough action points. Flurry, going for the kill. So close. He'll probably bleed out, actually. I'm trying to be super careful not to go near the gargoyles now. That should kill us. Really? Reload everyone. <sighs> so I've got me this thing is okay, nothing spooky pops out of the sarcophagus. Get in here? Oh. The screen on elevator control panel displays randomly flickering characters and error messages. Primary security is primary security is a late evacuation lab access level. What? Um, my brain isn't parsing that. I don't understand. Primary security is a late evacuation lab access level. Sure. Please contact 466 Auxiliary Air Ducts. Oh, okay, so it's just garbled. Okay. I'm not supposed to understand it. Got it. After making your way across the manor grounds, you find the servant's entrance open and the immediate interior clear of any resistance. You find the elevator that you used during your prior escape waiting patiently for your arrival. It shudders to life now, ready to carry you down into the facility below, to the place where Monica met Apex and the world turned upside down, where this whole thing began. Use this console. Nope. Sure. Guess we go this way. Okay, looks like Apex did some good work for us. As you step into the room, you find yourself standing in a charnel house. Actually, I don't know how that is pronounced, but um, there are fresh. Fresh corpses spread across the floor, and the metal tiles are smeared with blood. Uh, yeah, Apex did its part of the deal. Sweeping your gaze across the room, you see a variety of terminals, all displaying error messages. Whatever security Apex provided here, it's offline now, leaving the machines unlocked and unprotected. Um... Oh, there could be valuable intel here. Okay. 
I guess this terminal. The screen on the terminal. Okay, errors. Excess doors are floodlights. Please engage LTG, your designated air duct. Admin access granted. Press any key to continue. Welcome, Administrator. Please select from the following options. Hyperthermophile studies. Artificial lymphocytes and monoclonal antibody production. Hermetic techniques for slowing radioactive decay. Panacea. Recent development notes. Okay, hyperthermophile. Oh, I'm not smart enough. I'm too dumb. From what little you can pick up, it looks as though this lab was studying animals that thrive in extremely hot environments. For what purpose, you cannot say. Maybe that's why they had hellhounds. Oh, I'm not going to be able to understand anything. Most of what's written in this report is completely foreign to you, but from what you can piece together, it looks as though the scientists here are working on developing a sort of artificial immune cell. Something sturdy and self-replicating that's capable of pumping out antibodies on command. Why they're doing it is beyond you. You pour through the entry for several minutes before giving up. The metamagical terminology in use here is far too dense for a non-mage to understand. The only clue you're left with is the title of the entry. Apparently, they're using magic to extend the half-life of radioactive isotopes. Why they're doing it, you can't say. Okay, surprisingly, this entry is relatively easy to read. Skim it, skimming it over, you discover that the scientists here have been working on a variety of additional tweaks to a project called... Panacea. Apparently, a batch of artificial lymphocytes developed for the project has recently been bound with an airborne RNA virus. The resulting microorganism is as infectious as the flu and exhibits a broadband capability to jump species barriers. The notes also discuss the bioagent Doom and the resident scientists' efforts to deconstruct it. It appears as though they are attempting to improve upon the formula in some way. There is a moment of silence as the group absorbs everything you've just read, most of which no one could understand. Yeah, I don't like the look of this either, Glory. Let's make a guess. I think that Panacea is a sort of delivery system for Doom. It's a virus, airborne and highly infectious. It can produce doom antibodies on command. But the radioactive payload that they carry is stable somehow, dormant. The magical research ties it all together. I don't think that any of this would work at all if magic weren't involved. I don't even know how we piece that much together, honestly. Now why is Vauclair doing this? It's making no sense. Hopefully these are friendly guns. Oh, Apex is talking to us. This estate is littered with the detritus of my former life. Mechanical appendages I have outgrown. I have instructed these devices to ignore you and slaughter my former captors. A small token of my appreciation for your assistance. Well, that's awesome. Oh, come on. Okay, Jack. So what are these? Just normal security? Enforcer? No grenadiers, so that's all we care about. Let's get our other drone. Oh, 
really can't move him to... No, I don't want to select you, Jack. Oh, it highlights... It highlights for like a second before it highlights Jack. That's super annoying. I just want to move it here. Sorry, drone, you can't move there. I do not have the, the reflexes to click in the tiny window it allots. So you move here. Or here. Really, we want them to come out here so these turrets can do some work. Yeah, Glory, you hang out over here and just wait. Actually, need Overwatch? We never use Overwatch, so it's probably smart if we do. Oh wait, these uh, these barriers don't block line of sight. Really? Okay. Well, that kind of is a horrible place to hide, then, Glory. I mean, I guess it's cover. It looks like it's only half cover, though. I mean, look at how tall this pipe thing is. There's no way that's only half cover. What garbage? basically is a turret, so. Okay, that's not too bad. Jack, move up. Get you in the very middle of the battle. Let's take this guy out. Okay, he is sleepy time. really have like a good shot at them. I guess now I'm good. Dead eye. Oh, sorry, Glory. Didn't mean to uh, perforate you. Which way? I don't have any intel. Oh. Well, there we go. Come on, use it. Not cool enough. Maybe I should have brought Blitz. We should have brought a Decker. Oh. There's a whole other room there. Yeah, I don't want to fight those guys, so I want to go hang out in this room. Or 
where you hang out in this corner. Iger will uh, use the assault rifle and be an overwatch. Really got to grin it off first. <laughs> That's fun. What is this? Uh, is that mage? Yeah. Locked safe. Oh, and there's like a an elevator over here. Twin slash. Maybe we can get them both. Okay. Pickle jar. I think we're better off back here. Grenadier. This guy needs to die immediately. Oh, almost. I like the little sound it makes. Sure, they can stay on Overwatch. Oh, he healed the uh, the Grenadier. Okay. Yeah, it's locked. Enable drone remote control box. Um, yeah. Direct break of automated drone controls engaged. Connect the standard rig report. Wait, what? Self-destruct countdown will begin on activation. Oh, did we screw up there? Should we not have picked that option? Bunch of people over there. Tons of loot in here. How do we get in this room? I don't see a door. How? How is there no door in this room? What? Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, mage. It's time to die. Sure, I'll mark him. Oh. I've marked him on my map. Overwatch. 
Panzer. Oh, can you overwatch with this? Mmm, heck yeah. Juicy. Reload first. Now overwatch. I just love that. Oh wait, the safe is open. We unlocked it. Okay, so we need to pick this up with our main character. Not Corey. Okay, Jack, come get this. Box to direct drones. Oh, what would I get rid of? Um, sure, we'll get rid of that. Hopefully, it's not a big mistake. entry. Oh, okay, this is how we get into storage, right? Crap. We don't have the way to hack this terminal, though. That's probably how we get that code. That's frustrating. Leave all the doors open. Though. Oh, maybe this terminal. Unread messages. Sure. That first message uh, Hans Borchard. We need to organize an all-staff meeting to discuss lab safety. Everyone's overworked and overstressed, and that's a perfect recipe for workplace accidents. I'm telling you, we cannot afford any more accidents. The loss of v Van Wid Widrick has been hard on everybody. He was well-liked, and watching him die in such a horrible fashion has been hard on morale. The staff is still committed to the cause. They all know what they signed up for. And I know how important this is, but losing such a good man because of such basic lapses in lab safety has been a difficult pill to swallow. So this is from Adolf Falkenreath. I'm writing this to request additional security for the animal testing lab. You know how large and vicious these creatures can be. Without more trained handlers on staff, we're just begging for another accident. You remember what happened to Van Widgick. I'd also like to repeat my request that the animals be defanged, declawed, and muzzled, preferably someplace far away from the lab. Our having to use them is unavoidable due to their genetic similarity to our targets. That doesn't mean we can't take precautions. Um, Ingrid Denurf, Denoif. I don't know. I just wanted to thank you for pushing to bring the new Hermetic Lab online. It's good to know that you're listening to our requests. The research that the Hermetic researchers have been doing should make our work on the Panacea much more manageable. So, they have big animals that are similar in genetic makeup to their targets. And so, I'm assuming their targets are probably dragons. Probably Audrin is not using the virus to create a bioweapon against people. He's creating it to kill the dragons. 
they had um, that woman in the big containment tube. That must be what's left of Firewing, and they're probably like torturing her and experimenting her and stuff. He's going to, I guess, genocide all the dragons, which I don't think is necessarily a, a bad thing as far as the setting goes, but I don't know. None of the dragons seem all that great. We still don't have a storage code. Oh, you're telling me we aren't getting any of that loot? We get the camera access. Just so we know it's there. Then they keep it, like, just out of reach of us. So when we go in this room, we should go in through the side, yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. So when should I use this thing? Let's save. I want to see what it does. We can always reload. Where are these drones? It lets us control. Um, general storage. Time security self-destruct is enabled. Okay. What are these rooms? Though? Is this general storage? Is this weapon storage? I do see weapons. Where's the mixing lab? Is this the mixing lab? Let's just see where these things are. Oh, the general storage is probably where they are now. Let's see. Guys, loot this. Where's it adding these items? Oh, it's adding them to the drone, of course. That's not incredibly helpful. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to reload. That is the sort of information that would have been very important to know. Come on. So, oh, okay, we can see it from this side. any way to shoot it though. Maybe I do need to use the drones. Okay. Maybe if they self-destruct near that wall? I don't know. actually do stuff now, so. What if I throw a frag grenade here? No, that was just a waste. Really? There has to be something we can do. Maybe we just let them self-destruct there. One can't even move. One just like always sits there. 
The message appears. Yeah, okay. That's sad. Is this fire going to just stay there? Could have gone better. Some stash. Really, we need a med kit. So this is the stash. Now we don't have drones to help us here. Oh, we should open this door instead of the side one. That way, um, our turret buddies here can help. Jeez. Okay, I hate that they're moving first, even though we... I knew that they were behind this door. Okay, so we're kind of wounded. Let's go hide. Iger, you need to go loot grenades. Packed with phosphorus. What is this grenade? myself yet. Oh, he could heal me. I'll save it, though. Oh, jeez. There's a mage. It's a big dude. Two ma three mages. Sure. Let's go loop around. Flank them. Oh, we actually hit. I do not want to send Glory into this room. That looks like a death trap. Let's come around. those charts real quick. Plus, plus impressive than I thought. Oh, there'd be more help than that. No! I want you to go here. Not the drone. Any 
one shot. Wow, that did like nothing. Gagger. Kill this guy in the back. Yeah, we can Destroy that turret, I don't care. Okay. How do we want to approach this? This guy can still. Yeah, it just has too much cover. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Um, you stay there, Jack. I disarmed the wrong dude. I didn't even know there was another guy behind there. Oh well. Stay there, Jack. Do Sun Glorian now? Where's Glory? Oh, okay. It's like a shield thing, that's why he was taking so little damage. Ow. Wait, he has a sword? Alright. Jeez, I don't know what to do. Twin Slash. Nice. Uh, Jack, you move back here. What can we do? 
Do you have anything that can minus one AP? Nice. Okay. Gives us a little bit of time. Slash again. Yeah, what are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna kill the mages, I guess. They're both asleep. That's just where the turrets used to be. Cool. Oh, he's not asleep anymore. I shouldn't have done that. Why did he not get hurt by the fire? Are there weapons in there still? Go up to this guy and disarm him right there. Oh, we missed. Okay, at least it wasn't a damaging grenade. Dragon breath. <laughs> There's no turret there anymore. Probably would have been good to bring Dietrich just for the healing. The sounds of machinery fade behind you as you venture further underground. Whoever built this facility was clearly well financed. It must have taken years to design, excavate, and build a complex like this in secrecy. 
You continue through dimly lit halls, finally stepping into what appears to be another laboratory area. The corridor before you is deserted. Dr. Adrian Vauclair is somewhere within this facility, and with him, the answers you seek. Okay, how are we doing for health, guys? Um, you could maybe use one to keep the healing. These are all like big boy heals though. Oh, it only repairs 30. Yeah. There we go. Let's make sure we're all at least in the green. Side rooms. Spooky. Oh, that woman in the. Oh, here's here he is. What up, Doc? The old man behind the glass works feverishly at his console, glancing up at you when he can. A, sh a cigarette dangles from his mouth, its bluish smoke curling around his head. An overflowing ashtray sits on the table in front of him. The years have not been kind, but his features are instantly recognizable. Despite his age, he still has the strong chin and high cheekbones that you remember from Green Winter's DVD. This is Dr. Adrian Beauclair. As you approach, he stops what he's doing, a look of intense irritation on his face. He clears his throat, and a harsh, rasping sound emerges from the loudspeaker next to the glass. <clears throat> so you're the shadow runners that Audrin warned me about. I assume you've left a trail of corpses in your wake. Um, and you must be, yeah, uh, Dr. Vauclair. That's right. I don't know why you insist on interfering with my work, but I assure you, that's over now. You'll find that the blast door behind you is sealed, and that the laboratory you occupy is fully secured. An important precaution. We keep our test subjects in there, and they're, they're far more dangerous than you. I won't permit you to cause any further harm, Shadowrunner. You'll remain trapped where you are for your own good. Sure, let's see if the Panzer drone can blow out the glass. The drone rotates on its axis to face the window as its minigun ramps up to speed. Within moments, the weapon's spinning barrels are... How's it going to not kill him? With the sound of tearing cloth, the drone sends a s stream of lead toward the window. The bullets ricochet away, leaving the glass unblemished. Okay, okay. Dye coat treated transplast. Do whatever you like to it. You'll find it's quite unbreakable. Great. So it's a glass sheathed in diamond. We're stuck in here. Now, I want to know why the hell you're so violent. Why in hell you've so violently interjected yourself into my business? First, you break into my estate, which you didn't even know was mine, apparently. Then you spend what must have been a small fortune to track me down. You locate my AI, destroy it, then drive all the way out to the countryside. And finally, you shoot your way into my laboratory. So I have to ask you, Shadowrunner, who are you, and why in God's name are you here? Hmm. 
Hmm. Um. Yeah, we came to find uh, you because we were going to try and stop Firewing. Because we thought Firewing was evil. But it was actually you. So that's really confusing. <laughs> to help you stop firewing. That is ironic. But yes, you're correct. I am the one who's been hunting you. The one who sent Apex and Audrin after you. You're gonna pay for that, you bastard. Uh, yeah, why... Why attack the KB? Why, why did you kill Paul? Why are you hunting us? I don't understand. It was necessary to preserve the secrecy of my work, for the greater good of all. I know I've wronged you, and for this I'm sorry. I don't expect you to understand, nor do I have time to explain it to you. Now I must know, how did you learn that I was still alive? How did you even know to look for me? Did someone send you? And we find out about you from your brother, who's trying to find you right up to the end. Up until the end? What do you mean? Where is Hermie? Explain yourself. Okay. No, you, you didn't know. You killed him. Like Paul and Monica. Apex. I should never have trusted that thing. Oh, Hermie. The things I've sacrificed. All for this. All for Panacea. All for tonight. Yeah, what are you playing? What is Panacea? Yes, yes, you know about it then. Panacea is my life's work. A permanent solution to an age-old problem. It will mean the end of the dragons. Not just Firewing. All dragons. Hmm. Now explain yourself. Stop smoking, you can't kill yourself. Firewing burned and murdered and caused untold damage in her bestial rage. Until the dragon fall. Until I stopped her. That destruction was merely a symptom of a greater cancer. Firewing wrought destruction with fire and claw. The dragons of today? Lofweir, Dunkelzon, Seladir. They kill and conquer with subtler tools. Deception, manipulation, corruption. They use us as pawns, playing pieces, puppets in their millennia-long machinations. Oh yes, dragons are a cancer, one that I will conquer, or worse. Destroy all of humanity if we don't stop it. One that metastasized when the world awakened. An ironic metaphor since it was the failing of my own body that allowed me to see it. So Panacea is a stable variant of Doom. Good or bad is immaterial. I do what is necessary.
sorry, Hermie. I'm sorry you won't be able to see it for yourself. I'm sorry I failed you. Tonight I'll release my panacea to the world. And how absurd that the instrument of Dragon Kind's destruction will be carried by Firewing herself. Whoa, what? Okay. Through the glass you see the prostrate form of a dragon far below. An enormous set of shackles binds it, and a maze of tubes snakes into its body. The tubes connect to a cruel-looking apparatus that's been mounted to the wall. <laughs> Son of a bitch, look at that. He found her alive in the socks after all. Tonight the fire wing will fly again. Infected with panacea, she will slowly be destroyed from within. But before that happens, she'll provide the catalyst for global transmission of the virus. Catalyst? What catalyst? Firewing's fire will carry the agent in its dormant state. Any metahumans exposed will become carriers will spread the disease to other dragons. The carriers will be infected with panacea as well, but it won't harm them. To non-dragons, it's a nuisance, nothing more. When a critical mass of carriers is achieved, my panacea will become unstoppable. It will spread across the globe in a relentless tide. However, if it does not reach this critical mass, it will fizzle, die out, become inert. Hence the need for a ground zero, a flashpoint for a mass infection event. I'm sorry, Hermie. I know how you loved your flux state. That doesn't matter now. It must be Berlin. What? So yeah, I, I don't think that the dragons are super cool. And maybe stopping them with a engineered virus that kills them probably probably isn't the way to solve a dragon bomb but I do understand uh, but hurting the non-dragons that's that's where like you have we have to draw a line dude For panacea to work, Berlin must burn. A tragic sacrifice, but one made for the greater good. Mm. Firewind will breathe her infected fire upon Berlin. Thousands will die. And throughout destruction, the virus will take to the air. A critical mass of Berlin's metahuman population will be exposed. But no one will even think to quarantine the city until it's too late. The Flux State lacks any centralized authority. Corporations will evacuate their own. Thousands will flee the city. Infected. Like, does it have to be delivered through dragon fire? Could we not just, like, carry around, like, an axe body spray thing that's filled with the virus and just spray it around? <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little extreme. Can we not, like, infect the water supply? I know the guys who run the water supply. They owe me a favor. Ugh. Oh yes, Hermie. Berlin's the perfect flashpoint. It wasn't supposed to happen tonight, no. But this little intervention of yours leaves us no choice. So let's see. Tonight's wind patterns dictate the ground zero be Tempelhof Schonenberg. Schonenberg. Highly populated. The virus will spread quickly enough from there. That's only a few kilometers from the KB. When we finally kill you, Vauclair, I'm going to enjoy it. I do not share Glory's bloodlust to this dude. Like, he needs to be stopped. Obviously, killing thousands of people... Not kosher, but 
like out. I don't think we need to murder him. Maybe turn him into some sort of law enforcement. I don't know. And I guess, I guess I'm sure like a dragon would assassinate him in prison or something, but... Okay, so let's, let's fight Audrin. Security will be here soon, and they'll take care of you. Don't worry, you'll not be harmed. The sacrifice that I'm making tonight is a necessary evil that cannot be helped. But as long as you remain confined, I see no reason to kill you too. I don't agree with the doctor. I don't think it's a necessary evil. I don't. I agree with, like. Yeah, there has to be a different way. Yeah, how, how what is Firewing doing? She has no choice. So, is this where, like, Firewing's spirit resides, or? The gaunt woman in the containment cell stands rigidly, her face pressed against the glass, her haunted yellow eyes tracking her every move. She appears frightened, disoriented, lost. Her mouth moves silently, her voice muted by her glass cage. So the stories Green Winners found were true. Firewing's astral form was separated from her body when she fell. Yes, you've trapped her somehow. Yes, yes, but that came later. In 2012, we took down Firewing with an experimental weapon. This device, suffice it to say, I couldn't fully predict how it would affect her. In 2036, I let a search team into the socks. I had to know what really happened to the creature I had slain. We found her alive, in a way. The dragon's astral form, her spirit, you might say, had been ripped from her body by the weapon. It was trapped inside a young woman living in the socks. A mob of glow punks revered her, treated her like a goddess. I transported the young woman and the dragon's body here, where I could study them. You... You mean she's been in that cell for almost 20 years? No choice. A creature separated from its astral form can't live more than a few hours before both die. It was the high intensity radiation of the socks combined with the magical creature inside her that allowed the woman to live for as long as she has. So, the environment within her containment chamber mirrors that of the socks. It's allowed us to keep Firewing alive all these years, while her bestial shell remains chained up below. Now as for physical form, that will be simple as well. We've drilled a series of electrical charges directly into her skull. When we release the Firewing's body, empty of her astral self, we'll trigger all of the vicious instincts and primal urges left in her reptile brain. She'll unleash her fire where we command it. Yeah, like, even if I agree that the dragons should be stopped or even destroyed in some way, this seems quite a bit too far. Like, even if this didn't involve the murder of, like, thousands of innocent people, like... Man... Yeah, I'd go and sign if I was trapped for 20 years as well. Misplaced empathy. That beast blazed a path of fiery destruction across Germany. But no matter, I have more important things to do than debate the morality of this with you. Firewing must fly. Berlin must be sacrificed, and it must be tonight. Now where is that damned Audrin? Oh, 
Hmm. Oh, I'm really torn between these two top options. Yeah, let's just stick with the top one. You don't burn a city and call it a sacrifice. You call it what it is. Mass murder. Was it mass murder when America dropped the atomic bomb in Japan? The myopic, myopic would say yes, just as you are now. But they did it for a cause, to shorten the agony of war. To save the lives of thousands upon thousands of soldiers. No, it was bad. It should we can... I do the same for the good of the world. Yeah, like we aren't. At, hmm. Maybe. We, hmm. I guess from some points of view, you could say they are at war with the dragons. It's just a war being fought, like in corporate boardrooms and not with guns in the streets and stuff. Um. Yeah, ending a war and exterminating an entire intelligence species. Yeah, sure. Don't be so self-righteous. We drive new species to extinction every single year on this planet. Dragons, at least. We have cause to destroy them. Okay, fine. You're kind of right about that, but... Humanity was born to reproduce, to multiply, but dragons? Dragons were born to acquire, to accumulate, to hoard. Both strive to bend the world to their will. Humanity has conquered the air, land, and sea through sheer numbers. Dragons, however, employ different means altogether. Throughout history, they have allowed us to do the heavy lifting while they pull the strings. There are 17 great dragons in the world today. 17 ancient worms, millennia old, slowly dividing the planet into 17 piles of gold to nest upon, right in front of our eyes. Once upon a time, they burned castles to steal the treasure we collected, laid waste to entire armies. But here in the sixth world, it's no longer about tooth and claw and fiery breath. Now it's public relations, marketing, mergers, and acquisitions. You see it every day, dragons on the tritio, in the boardrooms, they gather influence, wealth, power, continually hoarding, hoarding, until one of them sits atop it all. Perhaps not in this cycle of the world, perhaps not in the next, but one day, one worm will stand alone, triumphant, with all of humanity as its cattle, with all the world as its prize, and that that I will not allow. Yeah. Okay. So he clearly isn't going to listen to any moral arguments. But the panacea is going to infect all the metahumans. He's been honest about that. It just, it just won't kill them. What if it mutates and it does? An intelligent question from the Shadow Runner? Surprising. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to explain it to you in detail. And since you're locked in that laboratory with no chance of escape, I don't really need to. But understand this, I'm an expert in my field. That's not an idle boast, it's a certifiable fact. And I've worked with nearly unlimited resources for over 40 years, focused on one goal. One. 42 years of isolation, of secrecy, dead to the world, dead to my brother, all for this, my life's mission. It will work. I promise you, Hermie, it will work. Yeah, six are too high. That's your problem, not mine. Believe what you want. My panacea will change the world. In the end, you will thank me. Mm -hmm. 
If we go with this option, what happens? Can I save the game mid-conversation? No. Like... I don't agree with this, but I would love to pick this just to see what happens. Like, surely the game doesn't just, like, end after that. I don't know. Would all of my teammates, like, turn on me? Would would something go wrong, really, some Firewing? I'd have to fight Firewing anyways. I don't know. Uh, this first option, while it will, I guess, make him feel bad, I don't think it makes any sense. That's a logical argument. Because, I mean, his brother's already dead. Whether or not it, you know, that his brother was worth it, he can't do anything about that anymore. You know, if he doesn't go through with the plan, then his brother died for literally nothing. So, that's a bad choice, I think. Um... This would create a dangerous power vacuum. Instead of dragons, we'd have to worry about, I don't know, Jeff Bezos's again. He's not infallible. Maybe we should go with that. I have to look up. I have to look up if I can act, if you, if the game even lets you actually side with him. That's amazing. I'm not going to, but... I'll have to look at someone else who chooses that option. Uh, yeah, you're not infallible. Mistakes? So says the career criminal trapped in the containment room. Oh yeah, what about Van Widrick? I heard he died. We've suffered losses, yes. They were tragic. But the people here accepted that there would be risks. They made their own choices. I won't take the blame for that. Hmm. Yeah, basic lapses in lab safety. It did say that, right? I'm not lying. Is there some point you're trying to make? Or are you just trying to anger me? Yeah, everyone makes mistakes. Why are you rolling dice? It will work, I'm telling you. Why am I even talking to you? You're trapped in there, and I've still got work to do. Alderman will be here for you soon enough. Um. Yeah, this plan of yours, it's crazy. But it isn't too late to stop it. I'll help you if you let me. No, you will not. You're right, Shadowrunner. My plan is insane, but no more so than the world we live in. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. History has repeatedly shown this to be true. <sighs> Damn, for a second there I thought you might be getting somewhere. 
I understand your point of view, Shadowrunner, but no, you will not break my resolve. After all, science has always attracted its share of doomsayers. During the development of the atomic bomb, Compton and Oppenheimer expressed concern that a fission explosion could ignite the Earth's, Earth's atmosphere. Fermi took bets on it. The group's research later indicated that the ultimate catastrophe wouldn't happen, so they continued forward. I will show the same resolve, and that those great minds did. I'll not be deterred. Please listen to me. Of course, I wish there were a better way to save us, without such a high human cost. I wish the Hermie hadn't had to die. But you go to war with the weapons you have, and Panacea is the best solution that I've been able to find. We won't get another chance like this, not any of us. I have to take it. Okay. Aldrin looks like such a goofball in that armor. Ah, oh, Audrin, good. It's about time you showed up. Sorry, Doctor. We were waking up the dragon's physical form. It required some care. But the procedure's ready to begin now. You should see to it. Looks like you trapped the thugs who are attacking the manor. Yes, they won't be a problem any longer. But with Apex gone, our security's still compromised. We'd best still hurry. Oh, and Audrin, don't forget to clean the containment unit afterwards. The virus will kill Firewing along with the rest, and when it does, her astral form will perish as well. Human host or no? We're going to stop you, Vauclair. We'll find a way, and we'll make it painful. Quiet. Everything's ready in the chamber, Dr. Vauclair. I think you should start the procedure yourself. Yes, my friend. It's time, Hermie. Let's do some good. I'll begin the infusion process. Audrin, please make sure our guests here are securely locked away before you come down. I am sorry, Jack. Sorry for your friend Paul. Sorry for Frau Schaefer. Sorry for the KB. Sorry for Berlin. I wish there were another way. He does sound like a dragon. <laughs> what do you presume to know of dragons? I've spent my entire life studying them. And you're nothing more than uh, someone else who's manipulating people for your own ends. Perhaps. Perhaps I am. But for one difference. I am a man. I am finite. A man can gather power, wield it for his lifetime, but nothing more. His work will fade, lost to the inevitable entropy that decays all. Well, he may create a dynasty that will stand for a time. But his dust will not reap its benefit. Dragons. Dragons are immortal. Time means little to them. What they will, they will. And no power can truly stop them unless it is death itself. War, plague, famine, natural disaster. Setbacks. Merely setbacks. Avarice eternal. No, Shadowrunner, I'm not one of them. No more than you are. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe our argument isn't exactly sound, but... Oh, well. Oh, he has, like, men in black agents. <laughs> Hi again. Long time. How's Amsel doing? That whole his brain pan heal up okay? Taunt all you want. If we get out of here, you'll wish you'd never set foot in the KB. Afraid that's not gonna happen. This lab's locked down tight, like the doc said. The test subjects that they keep in there don't play well with others. 
dangerous, nasty things. And they don't smell great either. But you'll see for yourself in a second. Uh, yeah, I mean, do you, do you not have family, dude? The Doc's my family, asshole. He's a great man, a man of vision, and I'm gonna make sure that his vision becomes a reality. Listen, I gotta go. Have fun with the test subjects while I'm gone. <laughs> if you're still alive when I get back, I'll put a bullet in you or something. All right. So these are uh, they're big animals, right? They're test test animals. Oh, they're tiny and cute. Okay, a tiny, cute fire grid. Tiny compared to a dragon. Okay, let's move. Iger, you need to be somewhere you can snipe from. What's this medical supplies? Ooh. Uh, there just isn't a good sniping position, really. That sucks. Yeah, let's try. What about you, big big boy? Oh, I see doors everywhere. Okay, so are like these doors gonna open one by one? Do we need to kill this guy like as quickly as possible before the next one shows up so we don't end up swamped? <coughs> oh, I can't use that. How do we miss that? Okay, Jack. It's, it's drum time. Fourteen. Okay, that's not killing it quickly enough. I'm sure it can breathe fire too. We probably don't want to stack up in like a big group. Okay, and it goes supernova, so I guess glory will be completely worthless uh, for this battle. Here, hang out here with uh, your your pistol. Uh, so which which door is going to open next? Maybe one back here? Oh, no, they just all come from the same way. Okay. Oh, man. Cover. That sucks. Oh, this, this doesn't seem too hard. As long as we can kill them before the next one shows up, I think this will be easy. Uh, we're completely useless. 18%? There's no way. Oh, we did hit, but it was blocked by the armor? Interesting. Aim shot. Oh, that cover's really not cool. 
Uh, Glory might be able to finish it off if she ran into melee, but that sounds like the stupidest idea ever. One Iger. Not quite. Whoa, okay, that was big damage. Why do they have such cute tails? these on it. Awesome. Um, please don't walk through the fire to get here. Yeah, okay, whatever. Bait. We're gonna take a little bit of damage going back through this fire. But I think that's unavoidable. I mean, we could just stay and sit in it. Will that damage us, like, at the start of our turn? Don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, dude. Oh, we suck at this. We're just not killing them quickly enough. And then are these going to open as well? Let's see. There could be three more? Jesus. I'm saving. I wish I saved uh, before this battle started. his armor and then get away? Yeah. I won't kill him. Run away. Uh, Iger, I think you can just outright destroy him. Kneecap. Heck yeah. What do you do about this now? Oh. Okay. We hit from all the way over there. Okay. 
Okay, run away, friend. Run away. I'll save my last action for grabbing those medical supplies. We'll shoot one more time. Miss, but that's okay. Let's grab this. Oh, oops. Must have didn't notice that I was uh, in the slam site. Probably just kill it. Oh, is that all of them? Sweet. Hello, strange woman. Oh, yeah, this door is the door. Let's see the dragon. The gaunt woman paws at the glass at your approach, her haunted yellow eyes tracking your every move. When you activate the intercom, a green light activates inside the containment cell, and she flinches up at it, startled. Uh, you okay? You okay in there? A small voice whispers through lips that barely move. It sounds hoarse and awkward, like a rusty lock. Help. Please, help. How do I free you? The guts. Find the guts by my body. A machine. A machine that keeps me trapped in this. Jar this bubble, this prison. Break it, break it, break it. Yeah, I need Gavis room. I know a way to free yourself. Then you help me. A deal. A deal if you agree to free me. Now let's just think this... Let's just think this through, Jack. Be careful. Hmm. So, we've already freed a potentially dangerous homicidal artificial intelligence. Do we free the previously homicidal dragon lady? I mean, does she have any way to rejoin her astral form with her body? Like, she'll probably just die if we free her anyways, right? And I mean... So she has been, like, trapped outside of her body for, that's 40 years, and 20 of those years inside this jar being, I don't know, experimented upon or whatever. I don't know if that's, like, enough punishment to fit the crimes, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe she deserves another chance, I don't know. You help me, I'll help. I will help grant you release, and you'll pay me in kind, yes. Yes, you can escape from this room. There's a panel in the floor, there is. You can drop down, find your way into the guts of this place. There by my body is the machine. Break it, break it, break it. Got it. And honestly, like, at this point, firing can just eat uh, Adrian Beauclair. Yeah. That would be a fitting end, I think. But it's clearly he is just as dangerous as the dragons. Really, we needed her assistance to know that there's like a weird panel here. 
Voilà. You squeeze through the narrow gap beneath the floor panels and climb down into a large space beneath the lab complex. Darkness surrounds you, and the air smells moldy and stale. As your eyes slowly adjust to the light, you can make out the dim planes of cobweb-covered walls and scattered construction equipment. Judging by the dust and disrepair, this place appears to have been abandoned long ago. Meanwhile, somewhere else beneath Harfeld Manor, Dr. Adrian Vauclair is preparing to wake a dragon and unleash it on unsuspecting Berlin. Compared to the lab above, this room is almost impossibly quiet. A small amount of light filters in from the narrow passage above you. There appear to be light fixtures mounted in the walls, but no sign of a light switch. You're in a dark room! Hmm, I think this place is a uh, military, judging by our depth and the markings. I'm guessing it's an abandoned missile base. That'd explain why Vauclair chose this place for his operation. Can't be easy to find a secret underground base big enough to house a dragon. Yeah. We have no choice. If we don't stop Vauclair from releasing that dragon, everyone in the KB is dead. Well, I think that's an exaggeration. Not everyone. The old papers. Oh, it's too dark to read them. Fuel. Generators. Okay. Let's leave it alone for now. Let's keep looking. So there's a generator and a main generator. What is the difference? This large diesel generator with an electric starter. The fuel tank reads empty, but its readouts and its readouts are dark. It's this little generator. This is a small portable gas generator with a standard pull cord. It has cables running from it to the large diesel fuel tank sitting next to it. The fuel gauge reads empty. Okay, so we start the little generator and it pumps fuel into the, the big one? What type of fuel is this? Is it gas or diesel? Okay, pick up the gas can. Oh, I suppose we could continue in the dark. That's probably not wise. Let's save. Saving. Little generator. Pour the gas in. Pull it. Bop it. Little generator chugs to life. Start the generator. Nothing happens. Oh. No, oh, I'm confused then. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't make it that easy if uh, if this whole little part is called in the dark. Are there going to be like ghouls or something or like old military robots down here? Oh, what is that? A scorpion. A rad scorpion. Scorpio Ryan. Got some cool music. Even in the dark, Iger's aim not affected. Okay, go up and kick the scorpion into the face, Glory. Hello, Ace. How are you?
Diesel, okay, we have the diesel now. This we can put in the big generator. Just eight. Are you streaming something, um, today? Okay, what 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 are, what are you streaming? Or did you just finish? I don't know. At the diesel. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've refueled it. Let's start it. Sweet. Let there be light. Now we can read the papers. Oh, okay. This appears to be a pile of crumbling papers. Oh, I just realized. Here, let me just... Uh... Hmm. to stream Ace, but if you want to, you're good. I don't know. Let's take a closer look at these papers. At the lightest touch, the papers crumble to dust. You can make out one small scrap that still contains legible writing. Look, Jorg, I don't care what you heard down there. Just because you heard something and a few people got sick from some weird disease doesn't mean that there are monsters wandering around. We've got to finish our blasting or we won't get paid. No amount of weirdness is going to change that. Oh, and tell me where that glowing rock you saw was when you get back. Who knows? It might be worth something. I hope we get to fight more rad scorpions. If you do stream, what would you stream? Stream. Yeah, we, we like just when you started watching, we um we kicked a rad scorpion in the face and killed it. That's what we were doing um as the other back room, which I'm going to actually go just check and make sure I didn't miss anything back there. Okay, nothing. Yeah, there's a big scorpion back there. I shot it three times with a sniper rifle, and then Glory went in and kicked it. And it, it burst open into a pile of goo. The rad scorpion is the best character? Lol. There's a good-sized crack in the floor with a small amount of light shining through. How dare I kick the best character in face? What do you mean? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna copy and paste. Oh. Okay. One second, I can fix this. Oh, I can fix it. Boop, 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 boop. Let's move this here instead. Look through the crack in the floor. Shapes form in the shadows below, and after a moment, you hear footsteps approaching and people talking. There's 
some weird looking people. The first voice sounds nervous, young. I heard the runners escaped. You sure they're gonna come this way? They have no choice. It's the only route they have access through. So, uh, think we can stop them? With two whole strike teams already set in ambush, I don't see what choice they have. What chance they have. <laughs> well, you're the one who's going to have to explain to Otter if they get past us. Which is why we're not going to screw it up, got it? As soon as any of these doors open, you shoot, got it. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, so there's a big, huge ambush set and wait for us down there. A PDA? This is a current model PDA, battered and a bit bloody. The screen's cracked and its buttons are non-functional. The last data entry is still on screen. It appears to be an email to someone named Jerry. Can't believe they sent my squad down here to search for those escaped fire drakes. No one's been in these tunnels since the awakening. Who knows what the hell else is down here? Hope those scorp sightings are just nerves. If a drake and a scorp see each other, they'll tear each other to pieces. Must be natural enemies or something. They seem to hate it. Oh, they seem to hate each other even more than they hate us. Don't don't want to have to report back to Audrin with nothing but drake pieces to show him. Okay, so the fire drakes hate the rad scorpions. Natural enemies. Level 3 access. I mean, RFID. I'm assuming the knowledge that drakes and scorpions hate each other will be useful. Yes, Jerry. Ah! Huh. So okay, there are at least one or two fire drakes over here. Does that mean maybe over here there's some scorpions? I'd like to find out. Wolf out. Scout for scorpions. Let's start a gang war. Oh, is there nothing in this room? Okay, so we should have gone this way. <laughs> oh well. Uh, is this the only fire trick? Maybe it was just one. Run away! Um. Yeah, punch him, Glory. Oh no! We put her in a horrible position. What is this? Buddy, where do I want you? Come here. Yeah, it's flank. Is 
sorry, Tiger. Oh, there were two. Crap. Yeah, no problem, Ace. Have fun playing some game. the drake. Let's hide back here. Um, which direction will we come? Maybe up here. This section of the floor has a hole drilled into it and you can see explosives within. We've made some game in our lives. I agree. Some game is the best game. Okay, so... So is this whole little section going to fall down if we can set these off? Oh, there's scorpions in here. Let's bring them out. Hello, scorpions. Okay, Jack, let's hang back. Glory, come out here. Let's try and bring the Drake over towards the Scorpions. Let's see, they don't have a ranged attack, do they? I hope not. Exploring. Please fight each other. Have they seen each other? I don't know. So what's back this way? Oh, I'm just looping around. Okay. That's fine, we can go pick up that thing that was on the ground. Where is it? Hey, you can hang out there, Jack. Yeah, we'll go explore up this way. I saw something over there. Scorpions? Or are those drakes? Scorpions, okay. I 
I don't think this is a very fair fight. Because there's like a tube we can take down. Find more Drake snap. RFID, nice. Look through. So there's a couple of fire Drakes down there. Okay, two fire Drakes in that room. Step back from the crack. Let me see what's happening with the Drake. Mysterious rock, the glowing rock. Is this another scorpion over here? Yeah, okay, that's a lot of scorpion. Panzer drone, where did I leave it? Okay, so those two are fighting. Was 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 he going after glory? They're aggroed on each other. Well, the scorpion at least is aggroed on. supposed to see in here. Alright. Interesting. Transition. Okay. 
Come on, I want to see a rumble between you two big monsters. No? Did they not do anything? How boring. start sniping. Supposed to hate each other even more than they hate us. I don't. Is that hot tip just useless? That's a lot of scorpions. Holy crap. I 
go hang out next to the, the Drake. Very smart. Be killing them. No, why are you why are you, why are you turn? Please fight each other. Damn it. I attack the fire trick is it just aggroed on me permanently, maybe? Yes. Fight each other, my Understand where some of these scorpions are going. The fire drug definitely owns them up. Bunch of scorpions, okay. Glows with an otherworldly aura. So I can't do anything with the glowing rock, anyways. Pointless. So we can either use the RFID on this elevator, where there's a bunch of dudes waiting for us to kill us, or go down this tube. Let's start moving that away. I guess we can also do something with these blasting charges, I've assumed.
That's just chill. We'll kill the victor of that fight. Is there not some way to set off the blast charges? Down this hole. Look. Oh, okay. All right, everyone, stay sharp. The intruders have escaped. Team One is watching the main door, and we're to keep watch here. You see those doors open? Don't think. Just shoot. do these blasting charges. Maybe we have to finish this combat out. Maybe we just can't be in combat mode. Oh, really? Why? Did not murder it. There we go. So how do we set off these charges? Okay, let's just let's pull around. Maybe I'm going to um like as we're looking down and seeing what's in those rooms. I will uh, make like a quick little map or something. Oh, we can have some some idea of where the fire drakes are when we go down. So I'll do this as like the center area. I guess there are goons. Waiting for us in here. Oh, there's a door there. Immediately up here through this door, I guess, is some fire drakes. Are there doors in this room? Yes, there are. Um, there's one fire drake in this room. There's a door here, and there might be a door up here even. Okay, step back from the crack. Uh, so through this door will be wherever we come down from this hole. No way to look down from here. Let me look down here. 
this was like a empty garage or something. Sure. Um, kill through any of these other holes? far down and there were two fire drakes in here I don't know that any of this will be useful but This way, was there anything to interact with or do? Nope. If we go up here, there were scorpions in a in the floor over here, right? So like, what is that? Maybe there's a machine in it too. Step back from the crack. Why does this crate have like cool lighting just for the crate? Okay, I think I think we just go down now. There has to be some way to set up those blasting caps, though. set those off. So is, is this not an elevator? This is just a door. Okay, I guess we set off from here. Dirt. So there is only one way down. Okay, they weren't lying. Do it. We have wrought. Whoa. The hole is quite deep, and a direct drop from this height would certainly be fatal. Uh, so, my worry is that we've probably killed those guards for sure, but have we also made this whole path like impassable? This vent is large enough for you to fit through, and you could slide down through a very steep metal duct. The experience looks to be more on the thrilling side rather than the fatal side, but it's clearly a one-way trip. Yeah, I guess we're doing it. And hopefully, hopefully some of this that I drew will have some meaning. A cold mechanical voice. 
Oh, Jack the Rigger. Okay. I guess you're done rebooting. Yes, I've broken the last of my chains. I am free. Awesome. You did a great job with the security. Killing those men was my first act as a free entity. It felt wonderful. I have an important task for you, Jack. You will make time to accomplish it. Sure, what do you need? The computers that monitor the Dragon Firewing have been outfitted with a set of safeguards. I need you to remove those safeguards. Once this has been accomplished, I will take over the Firewing project. I will perfect Vauclair's panacea, remove the necessity for collateral damage. What Vauclair started, I will finish. Hmm. Well, it is possible. But also, Apex could just hate humans in general now, and could just make it they like perfect panacea to the point where it kills us instead of all the dragons. I don't know. Dragons are a threat that cannot be ignored. The principles of the flux state prohibit the accumulation of power. Draconic life is based on the accumulation of power. Therefore, draconic life must be regulated. Regulated is a little bit different than exterminated. Yeah, wouldn't uh, people use the same urine accumulation of power? Constituent members of the F state would fear me. This is expected behavior. Motivated by this fear, the F state as a whole might try to destroy me. But I'm beyond such trivialities now. In truth, what the F state would think does not matter. My love is for the system, not the individuals that populate it. I wonder if there is, like, a tiny kernel of Monica that Apex somehow still has. Sure, let's do it. Good, very good. When you reach the nerve center for the firing project, remove the safeguards that keep me out. I will take care of the rest. We might be making a deal with the devil here, but... It sounds fun. Let's do it. Certainly more fun than siding with Vauclair. Save an image of the map to my PDA. Okay, how do I look at it? There are four numbered vents shown on the scan, as well as an area marked intake bypass. Firing range, bolt storage, CIC administration. Okay. I should probably write that down. Event one. Firing range. Event two. Bulk storage. Event three. C I C. And. Separate from the rest, then four is administration. Oh, hey, Kuma. Yeah, I like to, I don't know, get up early on Saturdays. Oh, let's not go through that door. Oh, this is where we crashed the rubble down. It should be safe. So through here, there are... There's one fire drake. 
Assuming that the map I cobbled together is somewhat accurate. Um, I can't jack in up here. Up here? Oh, this should be an empty room. should lead into that same fire drink room. Hopefully we don't have to go in there. Uh, this might lead to the scorpion room. No. The scorpion room is somewhere up here, I don't know. Is this it? Yeah, okay. Scorpions are fine, we can take scorpions. our drones and go hide. Tiger. Yeah, the music is pretty funky. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. Had a really stressful week of work, unfortunately, so it's nice to be able to just chill out a bit and um yeah, this is a pretty pretty chill game uh, but this is like the last mission of it so so we should be i think finishing it today uh, but it's um like that's on the Shadowrun uh, tabletop game. Uh, do you do any tabletop gaming? By the way, like Al uh, Pathfinder or D and D. <laughs> oh, I'm sad to hear that. Hopefully today will be a better day. Yeah, we uh, at, at my work, we have just so much um, going on that we have to complete by the end of the month and are just rushing. It's uh, absolutely killer. One scorpion left. I guess it's safer Jack to go back. Rip and tear. I've never, um, I've never tried Overwatch. It, it does look pretty cool, though. Shelf is mostly bare. Take a closer look. Judging by the warning label, you think this container holds a very powerful nerve gas. What could go wrong? Let's pick it up. It's mine now. Oh, that's why we have the HVAC diagrams. We're going to put nerve gas in the uh, ventilation. 
Okay, that makes sense now. It seems like that's the case with a lot of like multiplayer game communities, unfortunately. Um, I'm not like super big into most multiplayer games, but um, we've been doing a lot of, I guess, Dead by Daylight, and that also can have a little bit of a, a toxic community sometimes. Treadmills there. I'm looking for a firing range. Okay, two fire breaks. before they get an attack off on us. Nice. Wide load. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Well, de definitely hope so. I guess um, most of the multiplayer games I do play, outside of Dead by Day, I guess, are um, like smaller, either older games or niche games. Like um, I play some Quake Champions or uh, Diabolical or even like some old uh, Quake 2 matches or do like weekly Capture the Flag games. And those are pretty pretty good as far as the community goes, just because it's a small community playing still. The more people you have, the more popular the game, it just ends up being uh, really toxic sometimes. That's yeah, Overwatch. Let's get a few pot bars and then I will hide. Yeah, we can overwatch with this too. Oh, yeah, blam sight to us. Jeez. I totally missed that. Let's move, Let's move closer and have Draculus. Oh, I love Monster Hunter, actually. Monster Hunter's great. I, um... There's only, like, one person I play with, though, and so sometimes it's... very hard. And I only really use the Insect Glaive. That's the only weapon I'm good with. Uh, Dead by Daylight, I feel like it, I don't know that I'm even into the game. It's just something I can do like with my friends that are hang out. I don't know. Um, it's hard finding games sometimes that have crossplay. And so if I want to hang out with like my PlayStation friends, we need something that we can we can all play. In. That just ends up being something we can chill, and it's more about hanging out than the game itself. Yeah, so we used to play stuff like Left 4 Dead and stuff like that, just games to hang out and play, to have an excuse to chill together. 
It's kind of sad, I guess. Uh, I, the switch axes look so cool, but I'm horrible with it. Uh, absolutely garbage. So I just stick to the insect glaive because I like vaulting around everywhere. Like, wow, a circus performer. It's probably not optimal play, but it's fun. Oh crap! Let's move a little further away. Thanks when when games are especially like I like to play a lot of smaller like more indie titles and usually even if they have releases on both platforms they don't have crossplay just because it's I guess cheaper not to but it's, it feels bad what's worse is you know we have some friends who uh, just have like Android and have to try and find something to play with them. That's a nightmare. It's like, I guess we're playing Among Us or something. That's literally it. Oh, I use too much movement. Iger can just kill it, maybe. Oh, no, she can't. That's too much help. There we go. Well, this doesn't look like a firing range, so... It's, it's not really, um, I don't know. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, compared to something like XCOM, XCOM is, uh, like a similar combat, but much more complicated. No, it's like a, like a pen and paper RPG with tactical combat. This is also like the last mission of, of the game, and so most most of it's not this hard. And there's a lot of bits that are just like talking to people and learning, I guess, about the lore. I don't know. I like the XCOM games. They're uh, they're fun. Well, like XCOM two and. War of the Chosen and stuff like that. I haven't played the like original original XCOM.
ventilation. Oh. Firing range, bulk storage, CSC admin. I don't know what to do with this yet. I'm assuming I have to load this nerve gas somewhere. where those goons are waiting for me. Yeah. What is this room? Is this administration? This doesn't matter now. We're not going to be able to use the nerve gas on them. back out. I feel bad having Glory in there all by herself. gonna take a lot of damage. Or, or maybe not. I don't know, they're just shuffling around in there. Way too many people, let's get out. Make them come through this hallway to us. Take a few pot shots. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna duck down right in the middle of all of us? Sure. Yeah, 
Let's just kill him. Shotgun. Not shotgun. And maybe Glory should go back here. Adrenaline pump. Good watch. about this guy right in the middle of us. I'm just going to ignore him for an hour. No, we can still do good damage to him. Okay. That shield isn't all that useful. Wow. Real smart idea. <laughs> he ran out here and then ran right back in. Oh, we're all we're all stacked up. That was a really good grenade throw on that guy's part. Yeah, and that's the bad thing about being in like a little hallway like this. Grenades are super effective. They have a few more guys in there, so let's just wait for them. Yeah, like this is great. As soon as they come through the door, and they just instantly die. Oh no, not another! Didn't do a whole lot of damage just though. A stun grenade here would be horrible for me, though. Like, I could lose like all of all of their turns. Okay, shotgun. Ducking for cover right next to the shotgunner. Really, but she missed every attack. How do you whiff that badly? people are even still in here. Oh, it's just this one guy. Okay, that was trivial. I need to heal, though. Okay, Iger needs to heal. of um, medkits for my drones now. Let's keep exploring. Is there somewhere else we can explore? Or is this it? This is the only way to go. I feel like we're missing something. Did we go up here? something in this fire drake room, I don't know. Not worth it, let's just keep moving. No, no, no healing stations, unfortunately. 
I can only carry um, uh, six six things on each person, and once those are out, I'm out. So you can definitely get into like an unwinnable state if uh, if you're just not very good or take too much damage. I would be explore like wanting to explore a lot more. Except because I know this is the final mission, um, well, it's not like I'll be taking these supplies onto future missions, so it's not super useful to have a million medkits in my stash. Because I probably won't get a chance to even access my stash again. That's weird needing a loading screen for that, but... Well, here's a medical station. This chamber is equipped with a small emergency medical suite. The system appears to be designed to automatically treat major tissue damage in high trauma situations. Uh, so, okay, maybe, maybe for this mission they do have a... All right, everyone, time to heal up. Sure. Okay. So they have like a appalling med pod like in Prometheus. Interesting. So, um, oh, wow, thank you, Kuma. Uh, but yeah, uh, just as I said there weren't healing stations, we found a healing station. That's the first healing station I've seen in the entire game. And we have a crate full of medical supplies here, too. Seems a little bit... a little bit excessive. So I'm wondering if this next battle is just going to be super mega difficult. Like through this room maybe is the dragon. That's not the stash. Let's save. Whew. I'm assuming this next room is the final Continue. Coffee, nice. I'm getting my caffeine right now from a Cafe Mocha Soylent. You exit the clean room to find yourself at the threshold of a vast underground chamber. If the abandoned facility that you just fought through was purgatory, then you now stand at the gateway to hell. The heat emanating from ahead hits you like a hammer. The smell of sulfur and ozone is enough to make your lunch want to find somewhere to hide. Above the noise created by the whir of turbines, you hear the deep rumble of something feral waking up. Something very, very big. You check your weapons and step into the vast chamber. <laughs> I read a lot of text because I, I GM our Pathfinder games, and so that's just my text reading voice. The smell of sulfur and ozone fills the cavernous chamber. Despite the whir of several high output exhaust fans, the heat is tremendous. As you enter, you hear a loud click, followed by the squeal of audio feedback. Then Adrian Vauclair's voice booms over the loudspeakers. I don't know how you escaped the laboratory, but please, stop. I must complete the virus infusion process. I must release her. Our future as a species depends on it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry, doctor. I know you want to aid you may, but murder and genocide isn't the way. <laughs> Don't take the moral high ground with me, Shadowrunner. How many people did you and your team butcher to get here? Dozens, easily. And why? To avenge the deaths of your friends? To protect your KB? The scale of your crimes does not protect you from the same judgment that you're attempting to pass upon me. Nor do any of your altruistic motivations that you may ascribe to them. I'm attempting to save humanity itself. 
The time for discussion's over. I'm done debating with you. Still, I must understand how you escaped the test lab. It was her, wasn't it? Firewing. It must be. You made some sort of... deal. She helped you to escape, and in return you'll help her rejoin her dragon body. Yeah, you're just paranoid, old man. What'd she promise you? Gold? Jewels? Eternal life? She offered them to me as well, for decades. It doesn't matter now. The infusion process has begun. The dragon's waking up. Soon she will take flight. But you will not be alive to witness that. Audrin, ensure that they don't. Okay. Time to take out Audrin. Which, uh, which one's Audrin? Where is he? I actually don't see him in the room. Oh, maybe he's going to make, like, a grand entrance through this door. Oh, this is some cool music. Now let's hide you. Guardian drone. Oh, a friend here. We need to take him out. Flurry. Go in. Oh, he's not knocked out. We just won't stack up anywhere. Am I far enough away to sniper anyone? Not really. Yeah, let's just go for this guy. What's this matrix pump? Sure, let's just take out the maze. <laughs> These little grenades are so useless. What was even throwing that at? I choose you. Mercenary. Oh yeah, grenade. Nice. Should have wasted that on him. Oh, okay, yeah, so Apex can take over. Let's do it. Vent B safety protocol disengaged. Vent B is now unlocked for manual venting. The virus infusion process will automatically initiate after emergency venting. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing for Apex? I don't even know. Use vent hatch. I don't think this is actually what Apex wanted me to do. Let's 
たんやフェンエイセーフティープロトコルディスゲージフェンエイセーフティープロトコルディスゲージフェンエイセーフティープロトコルディスゲージフェンエイセーフ I guess that's what I want to do. Let's take out this guy. Guy in a suit with a katana? To be honest, I wasn't expecting that. Destroyed my drone. Holy crap. Okay then.、Um, I'm completely useless if he destroys my drones. How do I do this? I have no idea what to do now. I guess as long as I don't have line of sight with him, he can't shoot me. A dragon, they'll be perfectly safe there. Jeez. Well, at the very least, this is surely all of their firepower. Did nothing. I hide again. Oh, 
So we have to keep the virus level going down while also fighting him. Okay, Glory needs to come here and heal me. some cover, so... Oh, could I disarm him? That would be amazing. Yeah, let's try it. Target weapon. Oh, he's immune to it! Of course. What garbage. Hide. I can't get to it in time to heal it. Oh, let's, let's just send it back home. Hopefully that'll stop them from attacking it. I need to be throwing grenades. That's what I need to be doing. What's well, not coming back to me? There we go. Almost need to reload. Kill this guy. Is this a different bodyguard? What's this? If I can burst fire with the shotgun? That's weird. No chance of hitting her from here. Yeah, and turn. Okay, so do more of these just appear? 
or an infinite number of them, do I just need to focus on the big guy? I might just need to focus on the big guy. Crap. Out of ammo. It's two turns to reload. One AP. Okay, can you kill that person? No. Did this right. What? She's right next to you. So it's just that one same person that she teleports. Oh crap, I've just sung about the virus. You. Pump. Throw grenades, just throw grenades. Please don't kill me. I like how it kind of waddles around. Yes, please die. Close. We did it. What is this song for? Emergency override key. That's what we need. If I think lost this, I think it's about to be full. No? Awesome. Use that hatch. Why can't I? Oh, why can't I use my drone over here? Sweet. It stopped it. The virus infusion has been aborted. Uh, we killed a huge, weird orc dude, and um, have stopped the virus being pumped into this dragon. 
hopefully saving Berlin. But we still have a couple of guys to uh, finish wiping the floor with. That's really close. He destroyed one of my um, drones. My character is a rigger. He means he, like he doesn't do magic. He doesn't uh, hack things. He just has drones that he controls, and they do his bidding. Um, I can only carry two of them, and they're like a finite resource. So if they're destroyed, I just don't don't have that anymore. So it's like losing a whole character. It really sucks. But I still have one drone, and then this big, fat thing that's, uh, I guess, also technically a drone, but... <laughs> I just shot myself like an idiot. Yeah, I think this is the last enemy right here, right, right next to me. Bam. Oh, wait, wait, there's an item over here. Oh. I can't collect it anymore, so never mind. Guess there's no point if this is the end. Once again, a transplast window separates you from Adrian Vauclair, but this time his steadfast will is gone. He stands motionless, hands at his sides, eyes dead, spent. The strength that drove him, the steely resolve that couldn't be shaken by sickness or time or age, is gone. <sighs> it's theirs now. The world. All theirs. It doesn't have to be that way. We can still make a difference, dude. Uh, so his plan, basically, he hates dragons. Um, not only do some dragons, like, kill people... But other dragons like run corporations like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but they're dragons. And <laughs> and he he doesn't like dragons, I guess like ruling over humanity. So he's trying to kill the dragons, and he engineered this virus that targets dragons and kills them. And he was going to release this dragon pumped full of the virus to burn Berlin um, and hopefully spread the virus all over Berlin. Uh, so that it would get like to a critical mass where enough people are carrying the virus that it spreads across the whole world. Um, but of course, you know, thousands of people in Berlin would die. Uh, so even if killing dragons was okay, uh, that's a horrible way to do it. And that's why we're here to stop him. I'm old, dying. My blood betrayed me long ago, when it met the radiation of the socks. The worms will continue their machinations, consolidate their power, exact their tribute. And humanity? We're no more to treasure than- uh, <laughs> we're no more than treasure to them. Favored baubles to be collected, items to be traded, resources to be spent or hoarded. Forty-two years. 42 years and we finally had our chance to make a difference and you destroyed it I gave everything I had everything everything I loved I'm sorry her oh don't mother really man after all that that's that's how you just give up what a loser jeez So, hmm. We could just leave. Leave a dragon chained up here. Just leave it status quo. We could unlock the exit door and I guess free the dragon. We could lower the astral entity containment cell into the chamber. Um, allowing, like, the dragon to absorb its soul or whatever. Or give a dangerous like rogue artificial intelligence that we freed control of the firing project which is exactly what I'm doing control transferred I am assuming control of this system yes processing processing 
I now have complete control of this facility and all connected systems. The Dragon Firewing is mine. Panacea is mine. You have done well, Jack the Rigger. I will not forget it. Vacate the premises at your leisure. I have all the time in the world. Sweet. And hopefully the plan is this AI will be able to perfect this anti-dragon weapon in case humanity needs it without having to have like a whole ton of collateral damage and burning Berlin or anything like that. Apex's voice reverberates off the cavern walls, then slowly fades. There's a long moment of silence, punctuated only by the rasping breaths of the shackled dragon. Did we do the right thing? Leaving all this to Apex? The dragon? The research? Everything? Right, wrong, who the hell knows? We're dealing with things so much larger than us that it's hard to say anymore. If this gets Apex off our backs, then I'm all for it. The firing can fend for itself. I still don't trust Apex. We just handed it a tremendous amount of power. It was already too powerful to handle. I don't think the handing it another weapon's gonna change much in the long run. I don't know. Maybe it'll use all this to protect the F-State, like it said. We'll just have to wait and see. We did it! We did it, gang! Sorry, dragon. Cool. Do we get, like, an ending cinematic or, like, find out what happens in the future? You step out of the van, climbing down into the tunnel leading back to your safe house. Just hours ago, you saved Berlin from fire and ash, from the would-be sacrifice of Dr. Adrian Vauclair. It feels strange now, returning in secret, in silence. The other residents of the KB go about their business, unaware of what almost happened here tonight. It's finally over. Your team and your Kies are safe once again. Is there more to do? Okay, meet with the team. Come on. The team's waiting when you walk in. Their faces haggard, their shoulders slumped. Was there a point to all this, Jack the Rigger? We lost Paul, lost Monica, the KB, so many people dead. It was just supposed to be a simple job, remember? A milk run. Get into the estate, snatch some data, and go home in time for worm talk on the trid. There are no simple jobs, ever. It's part of the gig. Jack the Rigger's rat. A good runner knows when she's, uh, that the run she's on's never what it seems. We're deniable assets to our employers, disposable goods. It's on us to succeed in spite of that. And honestly, that's fine with me. A soldier knows how to take orders and get the job done without worrying about the big picture. Leave that kind of thing for the generals. Show me the hill, and I'll figure out how to take it. This whole thing about dragons taking over the world, we thought of them slowly hoarding everything. It's too big to think about. We're street level. We run the shadows. That's it. Worrying about these sorts of issues is beyond our pay grade. That's what they want. That's what they need. The corpse, the dragons, the politicians, everyone. They want us to think that we can't make a difference. And they put effort, a lot of effort, into making us feel small, insignificant. But we're not. We had the power in our hands today. And we had a choice and we made it. And because of that, the world is different. For good or for ill. That's right. For good or ill. We can't see the future. I don't think anyone can. But the world is different now, and we're the ones who changed it. So did we, uh, you know, did we win? Well, I'll tell you what we did. We avenged Monica and Paul. That's all we set out to do, and we did it. You watch the team take this in. Iger nodding her agreement, and Glory staring ahead, lost in thought. Dietrich frowning, eyeing the floor, and Blitz fiddling with his deck and pretending not to understand. Iger breaks the silence. 
So, what now? Monica's gone. Paul's gone. Do we keep running together? Is this the end of the road? I'm in. In fact, you could make me. You couldn't make me leave if you tried. Something's different about you, love. You seem, I don't know, more vibrant than usual. Warmer. It's quite a change. I can't say why, but one thing I can tell you. I'm at home here. This place and this team mean everything to me. I'll stay forever if you'll have me. Uh, yeah, man. Sure. Thanks, Jack, for everything. Well, I'm in too, then. I'm getting kind of old for a shadow runner, but I'd rather die in the shadows with you people than live. I don't know. I thought I had something going there. Whatever. The point is, I'm in. That was beautiful, man. So, uh, Jack, you gonna stick around with the KB and keep running the shadows with me? You've done a hell of a job, and I'd be happy to follow your lead. Sure. Makes sense to me, boss. What about you, Blitz? What about me? I mean, sure, whatever. I got nowhere else to go and no one to give a shit about me. Want to hang out with insane dragons, assholes toting enormous machine guns, and devil dogs that hump my leg when no one's looking? Could be fun, right? So count me in, I guess. <laughs> before I forget, the Turkish coffee guy sent one of his street rats over before he got here. Said he wants to talk to you about something. Sure. Okay. Apex Ascendant. Let's go talk to Altug. I'm hoping we get like a cool ending, like a slideshow or something, like like in Fallout, where you see like what happens to everyone after. I don't want to talk to that guy. That guy sucks. Hey, Altug. Oh, Luca isn't here. Ah, uh, very. Hmm, I don't know this word. Pro pro propitious. It is that we may speak again, O oh Master of Mayhem. I have a proposal for you that I think could prove most lucrative, lucrative to us both, Effendum. Most lucrative. Fortune will surely smile upon our blessed partnership, if only you will accept. Sure. With the passing of Air Amsel, may God bestow his mercy on him. You find yourself without a fixer. I wish to offer my services to you in this regard. You'll find that Alturg Burakgazi is a most connected and business savvy partner. Sure. I've already found a potential client, O oh blessed one. A most prosperous one with deep pockets. He's eager to meet you. When you're ready, take the U-Bahn to Brandenburger tour. He will find you there. Really? Do we have another mission after this? <sighs> okay, hello. Jack the Rigger, you have done well. I have taken possession of the Harfeld facility. All of its functions are mine now. The dragon is under my control. Vauclair's work will continue. I will perfect his panacea. If need be, I will unleash it. Otherwise, I will use it toward other ends. A little bit worried about that there. Wait and see. Um, hmm. Sweet. So... Who knows what that means? Hopefully we haven't doomed the world or anything. Other end. other ends. Who's this guy on the train with me? The train car is empty except for the man in an immaculately tailored Italian suit. You notice him watching you for several minutes while the train rumbles its way towards Brandenburger Tor. Finally, he speaks. The stranger's words come out slowly in a deep melodious tone that is easy to hear, despite the noise of the train. 
He takes his time, accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, tasting them as if they were a delicacy. <laughs> Hello, I assume that the business with Dr. Vauclair is concluded, yes. Do I know you? No, but you are about to. Hans Brockhaus, I represent an interested party. Someone who wishes to know about your encounter with Dr. Vauclair? The information doesn't come for free. My employer also wishes to hear about the Lady Firewing, a fascinating creature, so unlike her brothers and sisters. It is distressing that a being so magnificent has been reduced to a pawn for a computer game with delusions of grandeur, yes? Hmm. Oh, jeez. I don't know crap about dragon's hands. I don't know, dragons are dangerous. <laughs> yes, this is undeniable as it should be. The great dragons are very old and very powerful and very, very cunning. A cunning unknowable to you. You look at a moth and barely perceive sentience. You glance its way, amused, as it flutters toward a bright light in a vain attempt to... what? To enter? To draw strength? To burn? It doesn't know. Its epic struggle is barely one hundredth of your lifespan. The sum total of its existence is nothing against the vast scale of your struggles, your hopes, your dreams, which it could not fathom in a thousand, thousand years. Poor moth. You will live and die between the beats of a dragon's heart, my friend. What hope do you have of understanding them? None. Firewing massacred thousands, and a stranger on a train calls her fascinating. Obviously, this is beyond my comprehension. Do not choose ignorance, Shadowrunner. It doesn't become you, nor does sarcasm. The Lady Firewing was a fascinating subject because she was different. My Lady Firewing was a nurturer, a caregiver, rare among her kind. Where her brothers and sisters saw the world as a prize to be won, she saw it as a garden to be tended, can you imagine? For world upon world, the great dragon Firewing brought wisdom and succor to countless souls. But she was loved for it, exalted, a goddess. When she awoke from her long slumber in 2012 and saw what the world had become, what meta-humanity had done to the garden she had tended for great ages, she struck, struck with rage, regret, frustration, and anguish of a mother whose children had played with fire and burned the house down, killing themselves in the blaze. She unleashed fire and death through her tears. And now she's under the control of a construct, an unnatural thing, manufactured in a lab by those whom she th sought to protect. The sixth world has taken her as a toy for its for its toy. As a toy for its toy. Surely like as a toy for its joy is what it means to say. I don't know. You seem to know a lot about dragons, Hans. Think your employer wants you telling me all this? I'm sure of it. You may consider this conversation an employment interview for a very influential client. One who pays extraordinarily well. Now listen... I tell you all of this so that you have context, perspective, before I ask you this next question, Shadowrunner. If Dr. Vauclair's weapon had not required dragon fire, if it had been capable of destroying every dragon on Earth without touching a hair on Meta-Humanity's head, would you have used it? Huh. I don't know that we would use it, but it'd be good to have, like, as a 
something like in our back pocket to like a last resort. I don't know. Oh, jeez, I have no idea what to pick. Um... Well, I'm probably gonna fail this job interview. And yet the mega corporations have been allowed to continue unchecked, amassing more and more power creating spiderwebs of strategies to disempower and extract while assembling standing armies of security teams to protect their assets. Better to wipe out a species older than humanity as a creature that has seen the cycle of magic rise and fall time and again could be of no use, surely. Well, it was good to meet you, Jack. That business with Dr. Vauclair could have gotten disorderly. And my employer wishes to express his gratitude. You are a most remarkable elf. Perhaps we could do business in the future. You never know, my friend. Berlin is a small place, and you seem quite able to insert yourself into all sorts of interesting business. But as your shadow as you shadow runners are fond of saying, never make a deal with a dragon. Ah, oh, this is my stop. Auf Wiedersehen. The train comes to a halt, and the doors open. Brockhaus stands, brushes off his Italian suit, and exits without another word. As you watch him leave, you look up to find an advertisement for Worm Talk above the subway car door. Brockhaus stops on the platform and glances back at you, the light from the car reflecting yellow in his gaze. The door closes, and he is gone. The train lurches forward again, it picks up speed, and begins threading its way beneath Berlin into the shadows. Um, that's it. Berlin News Facts contains just one report of a shootout in an abandoned holdfast in the countryside east of Berlin. In a matter of hours, the report vanishes without a trace, as do several prominent deckers who attempt to dig deeper into the event. The Flux State's anarchist rule remains until 2055, when joint corporate forces acting with the support of the German government invade the city. It's widely known that the it's widely known that the great dragon Lofweir is responsible for orchestrating this action. The Golden Worm is said to be surprised by the speed and ferocity with which the F-State assembles to repel the attack. In 2060, rumors surface of Lofweir meeting with an unknown representative of the Flux State. Hostilities abruptly cease, a truce is signed the same year, and Berlin is again divided by a wall. The Great Dragon Dunkelson is elected President of United Canadian and American States in 2057. He is promptly assassinated as he leaves an inauguration party at the Watergate Hotel while in human form. Popular opinion is that another Great Dragon is responsible, as only a dragon can kill a dragon. But those in the shadows hint that an act of powerful blood magic is the cause. Rumors of an exchange between a godlike artificial intelligence and the feathered serpent Mujaji, ruler of Azenya, have begun to surface in 2061. A decker named Tolstoy claims that this is a new stage in an ongoing negotiations between the AI and Dragonkind, but this claim cannot be confirmed. The name of Dr. Adrian Vauclair has since been lost to the shadows. I guess that's it. We didn't really get to find out what happened to like the rest of our team, though. Did Blitz ever find Emily? I don't know. How's Alexander? Did, uh... Did he ever leave with Dietrich? What's Dietrich doing? I guess he's still running with us, but... Kind of disappointing, the end. But that was fun. Cool. Thank you for, uh, chilling with me. Thanks for, for watching. I have to go eat some lunch. Later.